Alrighty, we've just pulled up at the station. Rob's airing down. Cruiser sitting. He's doing luxury camping. We've had a look look around, that's the station. And heaps going on here. We've got all their all their farmed animals and pigs and that down there. Um situation is from the last episode when I got a big Mackie and then uh, the last episode again when we speared a few trout that's our trade off and a little bit of rum so we'll just drop that off at the station he's not here and now we're going to send it over to our campsite so we started at 2.30 this morning Larissa yeah 2.30 we woke up. yeah we got up jumped in the car and been sending it what's the time now Five to, five to ten, so a bit of driving and yeah, we went off the black stuff for a bit, but it's time to crack in to the VB with the Udall and uh, we'll see us at the campsite. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put some our little max tracks in and have a go. Okay, God, you're almost on this one now. No, I'll put one under you. Oh, that. Wait, let's send it. Yeah, try that. Max tracks for the win. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're all set up. We just got the swag. We obviously got the camp trailer and the donk. He's going to go on uh, Maiden Voyage, the new tinny, so he hasn't used it before. So we're going to put it in the water. We've got a bit of work to do to it. We're going to slap some floor in, put some carpet in. Doesn't that just sound awesome? That's how you get the, the tinny off the roof. Oh, Josh, it's coming near you. Oh, it's coming near you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's on the ground. <laughs> Oh, 
Taro and I are just going to chill while the boys get everything ready. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe Taro's not chilling. <laughs> hey, you got it! He's been trying to get that all day. Oh, yes. Ah, look at that. That's a good one. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> and look what I've got. Barry Mundy. Australian barramundi, this is fresh water here? Fresh water. Yeah, we're in fresh water, but water fish, eh? We'll get him back in the water. Alrighty, we've got that barrow and we've had a bit of a hangout. We're going for an explore on the, um, on the station, just got shown around, met the caretaker, and now we're setting these pots. They're for, um, we're, we're chasing cherubin, but there'll be red claw and other stuff, so basically what we got is these little bags and cat food. So, doing a little bag up, tying it in the middle, chuck it, oh. Let's go, Taro. All right, all those pots are out. That is it for today. We'll go check them in the morning. Go and check the ones we put out last night. In the boat. This one here, we've done cook ups with these before. They're called Red Claw. Hold up, we got a bit of, bit of go at him. Hopefully, that sun's alright. Yeah, same thing, whole tail area full of meat. Red Claw because. Don't bite me, you bastard. Yeah, they got that red on the claw there, but he's going straight in the esky too. <laughs> Good kidding. The chompers on him. No way! Tara, who's that? Do you like him? Is he your friend? Nah, no, watch those nippers, boy. <laughs> Look at that. All that meat in there. I'm gonna cook that up. Bush tucker. Oh, fish on! 
Just making breakfast before we go out. It is Saratoga, eh? My first ever Saratoga. <laughs> How hard did that go? It just screamed off while we were cooking up brekkie. Look at that. What was that on? One of those little cherubins? Yeah. One of those little cherubins we just got this morning. The little ones. Watch him swim off. Alright. Wait, don't do that. Sorry, leave him. Sorry. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I'm burning the bacon. Go get the bacon. That's breakfast by me. Not bad. Um, how was up <laughs> alrighty so you guys just see that fish by the way bloody unreal okay no I'll hold it Tyra what's wrong he's waiting at the rod to go off again that's how I knew because I was cooking breakfast and Tyra just sits by the rod there and he was going off when it went buddy we've been collecting these for a few days now I think we're on day two or three here and just been checking the pots we've learnt they mainly go into the pots and they mainly must get up and feed at night so collected a few we've got we only got the one this is a red claw yabby show just that we only got one of him and we got some absolute cracker cherubin nice big ones and the donk he's about to show us how to clean them and cook them okay so the setup is got a bin for heads and stuff a bin a bucket <laughs> bucket to wash your hands prawns twist similar to a normal prawn put that in the, the bin bucket pull the feet off and peel all those feet and that's a hard shell on the edge oh the rod's going off the rod's going off Tara's yeah, all over it Tara's all over it look. go get it done oh it's a barrel yeah, oh is it uh, we still oh we got off spat it oh no that's did a you big see one it Bloody launched. That was a, that was a good one. <laughs> Tyra was all over that. <laughs> we didn't even know, did we? Tyra's just gone bolting down to the rod and it was off. He's our little fishing dog. He literally sits at the rod and waits. Okay, back up here. <laughs> a little bit exciting around here, isn't it? Okay, so as I was saying, it's got a hard shell on the outside, just like your standard prawn on your feet. So he was saying, peel these feet. So then you got all the meat, it's a nice chew, but you still got the poo tube in there. So, get a knife, we just slice down the middle of the, you'd call that it's backward now? Get that bone, yeah. Don't know if you can see that, that's a poo tube out. Um, apparently you throw that at our tent. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's done. So then we're going to get them all into this bowl here. And once they're all done, I'll show you what goes in the bowl. G'day. <laughs> Garlic chives. Oh, that's fun. We're learning here. Give them a the haircut. That's these things. What are they called? Garlic yeah. chives. Yeah, I'll grow them at home. Yeah. What else have we got here? Some olive oil. Garlic. About that much. Yeah, what's that? That's two tablespoons or something. <laughs> Some smoked paprika. About that much. Yeah. That stuff. And some cumin. What's that stuff? Cumin seeds. Yeah, right. And then uh, olive oil. Make it, you've got to make a marinade. And there's two lives here somewhere. Back in a sec. Smells good, eh? Mm. Possessed. Or everything. 
<laughs> and then just mix it all up. A little bit more oil. Did you hear that grain of sand go in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bags that bit. Get it, Tom. And then in they go. And we'll marinate these for about 15, eh? Put them back in the fridge. And then we'll barbecue them up. Going on the hillbilly? On the hillbilly, bro. Come over here, I'll show you the coolest little bit of camp equipment that we've just, just been introduced to. It's called a hillbilly camper. That just goes in the ground, obviously, but all these, they hot. There's a the shovel, spin around. Oh yeah, so you can drop it nice and low and heat it up. And what we've like noticed, each height and that, that you have it over the fire, it'll really like hold that temperature. So like instead of just chucking a pan on here and it just goes way too hot, yeah, each height is like a different temperature and it really holds it. Like it doesn't slowly get hotter and hotter, eh? And then you can just like, if you want to cool it off, sit it over the side there, not as hot. It's freaking awesome and I'm buying one as soon as I get home. Lunch is on the hillbilly camper. What a view. Alrighty, you had a little taste? Mm -hmm. He hasn't told us anything. Taste test time. Are you gonna be honest? Yeah. Okay, she's gonna be honest. Don't they look good? Oh, you want, you want? My feet are burning. Thank you. Hot, hot, hot. Mm -hmm. That's good with the salt on them. I've got a couple cooling down. Let's see. Guys, where am I in the sun now? You can see. Cherubins. Cherubins. Donk's secret recipe. Not a secret anymore. Get into them. Thanks for another episode. See yous.